Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. It's been a while. Um, I hope all of you have been doing well. So today we're going to be looking at how to create uh, different versions of liquid materials and the use cases for them. Um, I'm also going to be including a link in the description to the same file so you can also have a look at it and also follow along if you don't want to. I actually came up with the idea to create this tutorial after I had I've made a certain project. I made a certain render which is this one right here. I made this. I encountered I just had uh, like an idea to just create a tutorial because of this thing right here and you understand why in a minute. So this is going to be broken into two parts. The first part is the one we all know already, okay, not we all know, the one that is most common, which is to create um, a liquid mesh inside the bottle, give it a liquid material. That's the normal one that we are most, like most people know. And the other version is going to be the second part of this tutorial. So if you already know this version, you can skip to the second part and we can move from there. So from this version, I'm going to start now. So this is just a bottle. This is my scene, an HDRI. Uh, the bottle, this and an empty, just to move the bottle around in a plane. So first things first, we have to create the mesh. We have to create the mesh width. So what I'm going to do is we have to select this and For some reason, my screencast case is not working in here. Okay, now it's working here. Alright, so Control Plus to select the faces inside, like that, and Shift D to duplicate it. Now we're going to separate it from the mesh, so separate by selection. So in Blender, when you're creating a liquid material in a glass bottle, a glass anything. So in order for it to uh, work well for like to reflect refract through it uh, properly, you have to make sure it's in between the glass faces, the inner and outer faces. So in edit mode, we're in edit mode and we'll scale along normals with alt s scale along normals. So alt s scale along normals like that. I really like this better than the normal scale sometimes, uh, but sometimes I just use a normal scale. So I want this to be, I want this side to be in line with this side. So I'm going to select all here and just bring it down a bit like that. And I think I have to scale it again. So Alt S again. Okay, so now everything is in between. Yeah, so I think now everything is fine. All right, so we have to also fill the face here. So F to fill, insert, and bring it down to give it that. Uh, no, real looking thing like how WhatsApp is. All right, so we are done with the modeling part. Now let's go to materials. So this is our scene right now. So first things first, let's create a glass material. So glass one. So this is a normal glass material. Yes, transmission to one, roughness down to zero or almost zero. Then for the liquid, same thing. Transmission to one, roughness down, and we just change the color of the liquid to like that, this color. So, you can looking at the liquid, you can see that there's a problem. It looks metallic, not like a real liquid. The reason this is happening is because the normals are not facing the right direction. Because we created it from the bottle, from the inside of the bottle, it still has the same normals from the inside of the bottle. So we have to change things around. So we'll just select the liquid um, going to face orientation so that you can see what I mean. 
So you see it's red everywhere. It's actually supposed to be blue and the red is supposed to be inside. So I'm going to edit mode and shift N to flip normal. So now inside is red, outside is blue. So when we put it off now, you can now see it looks like a liquid now. Perfect. So we are done with the first version of this. So this is a second part now. This is the second part. Same bottle. Same that. So let's start with the second part. So the second part is a similar thing. We'll create a glass texture or I can even use the normal glass there. Glass I guess use. So um, plus one for the glass texture. Okay. This. I think I made a mistake. So let me just take everything. Sign. Okay. Good. So now we have our glass texture on the bottle. So we're going to do what we did again. We're going to go in there and select all the pieces again for the liquid. So select that. Into X view and Control Plus to so just keep selected. Okay. Control Plus to just keep selected. I think that's fine. Now instead of duplicating, we are going to create a new material and assign it to this material. So now we have two materials, the glass and the one we just created. So with the second material, we're going to continue with the glass again. But here, we're going to mix, we're going to change something a bit. So create a layer width node. And create a um, a color ramp node and connect the final to the color ramp, the color to the base color and flip flip it around so we have that so here you can now uh, let me hide this very well so I want to get yeah this this color so one thing when the open one, one trick, one tip you can do is when you want to copy the color, you don't actually need to click here and go to the hex and copy this. You can actually just hover your cursor around the color and just press Control C, just Control C, and you'll be able to copy the color and put it back. So Control V, wow, just like that. So this is the second method, and just looking at it, you might think this is actually worse than the other one. But um, as I said, one is not better than the other, you just have different applications. So a thing like this will not be good for this kind of um, material, this kind of texture. So I'll show you, I'll show you a, a different version of it. So let's use this scene. scene three. Yeah. So these are same bottles. This one has a liquid in there. This one does not have a liquid in there. Same color, same everything. But as you can see, even the colors are different from here, but they have the same color. The colors is even the same material actually. It's the same material. Yes, this one is a mesh. This one does not have a mesh. And it's actually looking a bit better because it's using the material the material I use for this. If I were to change this back to its normal material, so if I just remove this. Now it should look a bit different than how it was looking before. Okay, think how to even create a new material for so that. Okay, if I were to remove this, it should create a different material. So let's render this out so you can see. Okay, so. You can already see some issues. So there's this black side over here, this dark area. See, this dark area is mostly in here. 
can easily see through this and you can't through this one right so light able to pass through this more than this one but this one actually has a mesh in it so that is one main difference between the two of them right this has more okay i think it's because of the position because of where this one is but that's the main thing actually that's depending on the design of your bottle you might have more shadows if you use the mesh version than if you use this version so to see it clearer let's use this scene which i created for the project i was working on so this one has the liquid in it the mesh in it right so you can see this is with the mesh you can see the shadows the dark parts dark areas over here right everything is dark so let me show you the other version the second version so this is the second version as you can see completely different you can see through it very very clearly it is far better than the other one so as i said they are different um one is not better than the other it just depends on the kind of um the application that you're using it for what you are the kind of scene you are creating the kind of lighting you want to use right so this is just something that i always use right i always have uh, different versions in the same uh, collection so that i can switch between them to see which one i like better uh, using the same lighting i don't have to change the lights i just have to change the material to see which one i like better which one i don't like so yeah so this is something that you can also implement in your workflow it can also save you some time right so yeah i hope you found this valuable and again i'll link i'll add a link to the file the scene file in the in the description as well um i don't know whether i'll add this one because it's something i worked on maybe i might add it also but as for the first two i will definitely add those for free okay guys thank you so much for watching i'll be releasing a video on lighting soon on how i am able to achieve some lighting um, some renders and some lighting techniques I learned along the way. So if you like that, please make sure to also like the video and subscribe. I appreciate the votes. Thank you.